Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. And today we're looking at Family Matters, Middleton Family Matters really, because Uncle Gary is at it again. They managed to shut down the book that he was threatening everyone with uh, late last year. I looked at that and that book seems to have been shut down. But... He's on Celebrity Big Brother. He's in the Big Brother house as I do this reading. Apparently, Carol Middleton read him the riot act about it. Apparently, she is furious. It's the last thing that Catherine needs with all her worries and her illness and everything else that's going in her life. Last thing she needs is to have Uncle Gary looming large on national television, perhaps telling things that might be embarrassing or just stir things up or more than they already have been stirred up. But too late to do anything about it. He couldn't pull out. He's there. And so we are going to have a look at it today with the Shadowland Tarot. That's my embarrassingly bad behaving tarot deck. I usually use it on Harry. But I think Uncle Gary, I don't have anything against the man. I think why not um, uh, behave in a... In a, uh, in a sort of defiant way and tell it as it is. And he has. He's been on record quite a few times and he's come out and told it like it is, said things that no one else in the Middleton family or the royal family dare say, of course. So there is Uncle Gary. Um, I do feel for Catherine right now. We're going to see how she feels about it. We're going to look and see how Carol Middleton feels about it. We're going to ask why Uncle Gary is there. Uh, he's a bit of a dodgy character. He's got a criminal record for assault. He's, uh, there's been uh, some drugs things around him, lived quite the party life, uh, made his millions, possibly lost quite a lot of millions as well. Um, but of course he has come out and said uh, things about Harry and Meghan in particular that the newspapers have snapped up, they adore it. Uh, the Middletons might not like quite so much. Harry and Meghan, I'm sure, don't like. And uh, the Royals, I'm sure, also don't like. But so we want to know why he's there. Is he there for money? Is he there to settle the score, as a lot of people speculate? And uh, get some digs in at the parkles? And uh, how's he going to behave? How does Carol feel about this? How does Catherine feel about it? How's the public going to take to Uncle Gary? Are they going to think he's wonderful or think he's just cringe and vote him out? And uh, is he going to tell us anything startling, shocking, hilarious or whatever that um, is going to... I suppose make it all worthwhile. I don't think it can be worthwhile for the Middletons or the Royals, but for the viewing public, how how much is Uncle Gary going to tell? Uh, basically, it's where I'm heading today with the embarrassing Shadowland Tarot. And let's remind you, as we always do, that we're just doing this. It's tarot for fun and entertainment. And uh, of course, all speculation, all my opinion, and just reading energy here and disclaimer in the box below so let's see what is going to happen with uncle gary in the big brother house never a dull moment in this royal world and um ten of wands ten of wands is oh no will it ever end um, I think that that's Carol and uh, Catherine's energy that's showing up there is the Ten of Wands. As if we don't have enough on our plate now, we've got to deal with Uncle Gary, um, uh, the embarrassing Uncle Gary. We are going to look at that little drive through Windsor where Catherine was finally seen in the next reading. But yeah, this is too much. This, this might be the straw that breaks the camel's back, this Uncle Gary stunt um, in the Big Brother house, as far as those two women are concerned. But we'll see. Situation that we're dealing with today, we're dealing with the sun in reverse again. Um, please go away. Please get out of the limelight. We really don't need more of a light shone on all these things. Um, it is attention seeking the sun can be very much attention seeking but it's the wrong kind of attention 
So I'm getting a very clear message that this is not going down well. This is not a popular choice in the Middleton family. And um, they wish that uh, this would not happen or that he gets booted out pretty quickly before he has time to do anything terribly embarrassing. Um, interesting energy coming through from the Sun card for me as a reader. Let's have a look at Uncle Gary now himself. Why is he doing this? Is it about the money? Is it about settling scores? Why? It, what's his motive for being there? Nine of Wands is interesting because it's about people who have their guard up their, their their boundaries they've set their boundaries they're wounded normally in the nine of wands you can see the head wound there the bandage around the head people with those candles around them interesting it makes me laugh thinking of the candle that uh, blocked out uh, Meghan Markle at the Queen's funeral or memorial service all those um, years ago it seems like an, an, an eternity ago but people who are really trying to protect themselves, maintain their privacy, their boundaries, distance, put distance between themselves and the people who are hurting them because of that head injury, injury always present in the nine of wands, someone who's uh, embattled, who's battered and bruised and making their last stand, he's not there for the money. He's there because he feels that the family has taken enough of a battering. And uh, somebody's got to stand up and say something, do something. So I don't think his motives are, are greed and um, uh, money, as I say. I think it is really that he wants to um, lob some, some missiles back over that barricade. That enough have come into the fortress, into the castle, and he's going to send some back out. So how is he going to behave while he's there? What's he going to get up to? And we got the Page of Cups. That's quite interesting. It's it's a charming uh, energy. It's not it's not a vulgar energy. It's not brash. It is quite an endearing energy. So even though he did a bit of a, a jig as he went into the house and. Um, was a bit cringe. I watched a tiny bit of it. Um, it's not my scene at all. Uh, but just for research purposes, I do watch some strange things because of this tarot channel. Uh, but Page of Cups is really, he's going to try and be um, somebody that people can relate to, um, uh, try and be endearing, and uh, that they're going to think, oh, what a nice guy, genuine person, loyal. Cups are about loyalty, um, so humble, nice. Um, I think that's how he's going to try. I'm looking at it from his point of view. It's not necessarily what's going to end up happening. We're getting there now. We're going to look now at poor Carol Middleton, who has the weight of the world on her shoulders, Ten of Wands. I think that's really her energy even more than Catherine's energy at this point. How does she feel about Uncle Gary doing this? And the magician in the reverse um, wishes that he would not do this. It's the stunt, it's the PR, the tricks to energy, the magician in the reverse. It's manipulative. Uh, she wishes that he wouldn't try and manipulate the situation to uh, regain some of the advantage. It's, it's definitely he's doing this because he wants to get a certain message out. He wants to, as I said, to lob some missiles back into certain quarters. And um, that's the magician in reverse. This is um, using spin, using media to get a certain message out. And, and the royals don't do that. It's the no complain, no explain message, never complain, never explain message, which, yeah, we're going to see in the next reading whether they might have decided to do a little bit of fudging of that message as well themselves, um, Carol Middleton and Catherine, to get a certain message out. But she doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. She feels that it's um, a little bit tricky, a little bit... Uh, I, th I think she feels that if you if you start down this road of PR wars, it's going to come back at you. 
And we know that because the flying monkeys are always hovering around and uh, waiting to launch their assaults. So I think that's what she's really concerned about. How's it going to go from her perspective? Is she going to end up thinking, phew, that wasn't so bad? Or is it going to be, um, I need to change my name, leave the country or disown Uncle Gary? Her, for her, how is this going to work out? Three of Cups. Uh, so it looks as if for all her um dismay and trying to convince him not to do it and that the magician is very persuasive just by the way she looks like she might actually enjoy it three of cups is pleasure it's um happy it's uh, drinking a glass of wine watching tv having a laugh and uh, thinking well uncle gary's actually coming across quite nicely so she is going from, oh, God, please don't do this, to, well, that wasn't so bad after all. It's the party card and, of course, party pieces, her, their business, that I was in the news for all the wrong reasons last year, of course. But uh, that, she, she's okay. How about Catherine? How did Catherine feel when she heard the news, Uncle Gary's going into the Big Brother house? Two of cups. She's not, she's not horrified. Um, I think she's genuinely fond of Uncle Gary. Uncle G, apparently, uh, he's known. Um, not not horror, not flinging herself, uh, not sobbing on the floor, not please don't, uh, uh, not at all. There's fondness there, the Two of Cups. There's genuine um, liking for the man. And um, I think she, she realises that whatever is going on, he's doing it he might be doing it the wrong way, but he's probably doing it for the right reasons as far as she's concerned. How's it going to go from her perspective? Is she going to uh, be filmed with horror as the days wear on? Or is it going to be, oh, well, that wasn't so bad. We got the Seven of Swords in reverse. That's interesting. Because the Seven of Swords is um, skullduggery. When it's upright, people getting away with stuff, people being underhanded, devious. Um, ghosting, deceiving, taking stuff that's not theirs. Uh, we know who that might be. Speculating, of course. And uh, it's in reverse. In reverse, it's there's nowhere to hide. Whatever is out is out. Uncle Gary might reveal stuff that she would rather not. We might have to check that energy, uh, depending on what comes out in this next card here. Uh, but the Seven of Cups in reverse is truths coming out about things that aren't that, um, aren't that good. Whether it's about Catherine, William, the Royals, the Parkles, the ex-Royals, the former Royals, whatever you want to call them, the non-working Royals. Something, Uncle Gary is going to say something or reveal something that uh, is going to expose something. Uh, so how's the public going to take to Uncle Gary? Queen of Wands in reverse. Uh, it's of course the Meghan Markle card from years a reader, the Queen of Wands, you can see with that hair. And um, there is in fact the claw, even you could say. Um, he might really have a go at Megan while he's there. I was, this is the next card is what is he actually going to say that might be shocking or horrifying or scandalous or upsetting or whatever um, from particularly the Parkles point of view. But it's already told me something, Queen of Wands in reverse. It's, to, it's telling me that they're going to see that he is, I think, very hostile towards Meghan Markle. Um... I'm asking how the public is going to perceive him. Um, it's not really his energy that's coming through there. So I don't think that Queen of Wands in reverse is his energy, that they're going to look at him as he himself is a Queen of Wands in reverse, which would be over dramatic um, tantrums and difficult and attention seeking and stuff like that. He might. But it's not really what's coming through for me. What's coming through for me, because that is my Meghan Markle card. Uh, I have a few, but that's really my Meghan Markle card. That it's going to be obvious that he's really not a fan 
and that's what's going to be the even if he's there for a day i don't know how long he's going to make it in the uh, big brother house but however long he's there for this is going to be the sort of legacy the lasting feeling that he's not a fan what is he going to say that's really going to be interesting let's just call it interesting sorry about the sunlight on the tarot table didn't realize i've got the queen of swords in reverse same same kind of energy um i think he's really going to cut loose about Meghan markle that's for me the queen of swords again um, and because the queen of swords is in reverse the queen of swords is of course the cold-hearted woman um, the one who um, doesn't care whose feelings she hurts. The one who is quite vicious and cruel and calculating, in, in, particularly in the reverse upright. She's wise, she's strategic, she's dispassionate, uh, fair, um, but in reverse un, unfair, um, calculating in a negative way. And I think he is really going to have a go at her. I'm getting it twice here. I'm getting the, the doubling up of this. So again, as I say, with the Seven of Swords in reverse, I think he's going to reveal things that have happened that we might have speculated about but don't know for sure. And Uncle Gary's going to reveal some things that um, I think Catherine is going to wish that he hadn't revealed because it's just going to make life worse maybe um, for her if he does say for instance about the dress fitting and who made who cry that kind of thing um, so so the, it does look as if he is going to reveal some things I don't think they're going to be huge there's no big cards in here the only big card is the sun in reverse this is the wrong kind of attention um, that uh, the royals and the middletons might think oh no please just go away don't do this but he really is going to try his best to be uh charming and um get people on on his side because of this nine of wands because he feels that they are so embattled that they're so under attack and nobody's doing anything to defend them so uncle gary is riding to the rescue um Carol doesn't like it, but in the end, I don't think it's going to be as bad as she thinks. Catherine, I think, genuinely uh, loves Uncle Gary. And so whatever, at this stage, there are going to be things come out that are going to be quite revealing, quite exposing. But I think mostly about Megan in particular, because her energy has come up twice for me in this reading. It's, of course, me interpreting the cards. And that's how I'm seeing those two queens in reverse, that he's going to have quite a lot to say about her. And uh, we might, depending on how, how long he's there and what happens, we might have, have a look at it from Montecito's perspective. But I wanted to check in with Catherine and Carol in particular and see how they're feeling right now and uh, how it's going to go for them. And uh, yeah, I think that he is there to uh, make a bit of trouble for her in Montecito. That is your reading and thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.